Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be looking at Prusa Slicer's Lightning Infill and how you can use this to massively speed up your print and save filament and money. So let's have a look. A lot of the time when you're slicing your model, even if you're just using 10 or 15% infill, that infill is only really there to act as an internal support material for the top layers of your print. But if you don't need your print to be especially strong, everything below that is kind of just wasted. And that's where Lightning Infill in Prusa Slicer steps in. Lightning Infill creates infill just enough to support the top layers of your print and everything below it is hollow, saving you both time and filament. So let's have a look at how this works. So as a preference, I particularly like using gyroid infill wherever possible. So let's have a look at how our Groot here will slice up with gyroid infill at 20%. As we move down through the layers, we can see that there is a lot of infill being printed there and it really is filling up the model quite a bit, even at 20% infill. Down in the sliced info, you can see that this is expecting to use 18 grams of filament and take 2 hours and 36 minutes. Let's see how this compares to lightning infill. And we'll go back to the platter mode, go up to print settings, down to infill, and then on fill pattern, change that to lightning. We'll go back to the platter and then we'll slice it. As we come down through the layers now, we can see that he is pretty much hollow. There is mainly just the outer premises and a little bit of solid infill, this purple stuff here, and then the red, which is the internal infill is not that constant. You can see here it starts to grow out of the side of the head, but just a single line there. And then as we get towards the point that the head is going to start closing up, it starts branching out and becoming more of a grid ready for those top layers of the head to print onto. And you can come down here and see in sliced info that the expected usage is going to be 13.65 grams, which means you're saving 25% of the filament there. And it's estimating 2 hours and 28 minutes, which is around 8 to 10 minutes of save time there. So you could, in theory, then increase the infill on lightning mode if you're having problems or worries about the lightning infill not properly forming inside the model. We'll slice that again. And at 40% infill with the lightning infill, you can see that there is a bit more structure there. It is forming together more. And it's still using only 14.31 grams of filament, so it's still saving about 4 grams of filament, so it's probably about 20%. Um, and the time-wise is actually slower, so it's actually taking 1 minute longer, but you are saving material. Using this feature, you can print much faster without compromising the quality of those upper layers. And if you did need a little bit more strength on the print, you could just increase the perimeter count. I hope you guys found that useful. Please do like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me. And you can now support me and my channel and get access to some exclusive goodies via my Patreon account, which I've linked to in the description below. For now, why not check out my tutorial on 3D printers, negative volumes, or one of my other fun videos. Happy printing, and I'll see you guys next time.